This animation was made using Animate Diff and Comfy UI and Automatic 11.11. Download the JSON files from the description below. Simply just drag and drop the downloaded files into the Comfy UI workspace when you want to use them. You need to have these Comfy UI extensions before using this workflow. Links will be in description below. For this tutorial I am using this dance video by Helen Pink for reference. Drag and drop your reference video in After Effects. Make a new composite with the video. Downscale the video to a smaller resolution between 480 to 720p. Export the video as JPEG image sequence. We will be needing these images for making our initial control net passes. In Comfy UI import the images using the load images from directory node. Copy the images directory and paste it into the node input. For this reference video, two passes are needed which is soft edge and open pose. We will save the passes and name the prefixes accordingly for better organization. First we will cap the images to 10 to test if the images are rendering in sequence or not. If yours does not, watch the part 2 of this tutorial for fixing common issue while animating with animate diff. My test passes came out fine, so I will render all the frames. Delete the test renders and remove the cap in the load images node and hit render. Now all the control net images are rendered. Make two new folders of the respective names. Put the soft edge images in the HED folder. Put the open pose images in the open pose folder. Double check if all the images are rendered correctly. To make your life easy, I've included this control net passes JSON file. Simply drag and drop it in your workspace. That easy. Drag and drop the second workflow file which is the main animation workflow. Let's break down the process. All green nodes are input nodes. This is the model loader node. Choose the style of the animation, realistic, anime, or cartoon. These are resolution nodes, set the same width and height ratio that of the reference video. This is the skip frames and batch range node. These are the usual positive and negative prompt nodes. These are the control net units for applying control net passes. This is case sampler node. Purple node nodes are the control net passes input nodes. There will be no extra processing needed for control net since its images are already rendered which will cut the rendering time by which we can test out animations more faster. Load the control net images in the purple nodes. So let's start. Choose the model you want your style. For realistic, animate or cartoon style, select the appropriate SD model. For this example I am using an anime model Manimix. I have provided notes all over the network for you to read if you need to change any settings of the other nodes. Now we will set the dimension in the same ratio as our original video. For me it was already set to 544 by 960 pixels. Suppose you have 100 images as input, and your PC can handle only 50 at a time. More than 50 images can cause some minor issues. So we have two batches of 50-50 images. On the first round we will set the batch range to 50 and skip frame to 0. On the second round we set the batch range to 50 and skip frames to also 50. So it can skip the previous frames. We will use this theory and apply when we do the final rendering. For testing our animation we will use 10 frames in the batch range. Next type in your prompts. Use simple positive prompts as usual. Negative prompts are already set with the negative embeddings. 
Now we move to control net. Copy and paste the soft edge pass images directory in control net one node. Copy and paste the open pose pass images directory in control net two node. Everything is in place and now we are ready for test out our animation. Open the output folder in the comfy UI directory. My test frames were rendered correctly. It's now ready to render the final animation. If faces are not looking good, no need to worry, it will be fixed later. I have a RTX 3070 Ti laptop GPU. It can handle max 150 frames for this resolution. So I will enter my laptop's max handle capacity. Yours will be different. It depends on the rendered resolution and GPU's VRAM. Mine is at around 150 frames for 544 by 960 pixels images. For round 2 I will set the skip frames to 150, so it will render the next 150 frames, and so on I will render the rest of the frames. One thing to keep in mind, suppose I have 40 images left in the last batch. I will also change the batch range to 40. Batch range node also provides for the empty latent images for sampler. It doesn't know what to do with the extra images so it repeats the rendered images. All the images have been rendered now. But we have to fix the face. In automatic 1111 image to image tab drag and drop one image for testing. Test the image with the most visible face. Click the auto detect button for image dimensions. Choose the model used during the animation. Select negative embeddings for better results. You should have after detailer extension installed. Enable the A detailer and check skip image to image. Enter prompt for a detailer. Generate and check results. I will also try with different models.
after all the images are rendered. Sequence all your batches one by one in After Effects and render the video. Likewise, I rendered the same frames using the Epic Realism model. Fix the face in Automatic 1111 using a detailer. With larger and paint to noise strength this type of disproportionate face happened. Lowering the and paint to noise strength solved this problem. Then I upscaled all the images using Topaz Gigapixel AI. Now using the original reference for audio, I sequenced all the batches. Added some color corrections and zoomed the composition. And rendered out the video. It's just the starting. We can create many artworks like this. The possibilities now are endless. If you are facing some bugs, you can see the issues listed in the notes inside the main JSON file. Part two of this video will also be uploaded soon for explaining how to fix those issues. I would really love to see your works created using this workflow. I would really appreciate if you forward your work to me on Discord or mention it down in the comments. My Discord username is Jerry Davos. I feel very happy replying to you people. With your love and support, I will keep making more tutorials like this.